Hey, welcome back to Popcom. It's your boy Mike, and today I'll be doing my contest entry for Doom D's 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, so basically, it's a, a double dual channel giveaway. It's Doom 143 and Freddy's 562. They got together, they collabed, and they have a um, awesome giveaway going on, guys. Um, if you have not checked their channels out, I will link it below. That's one of the criterias that you need to link uh, their channels and their giveaway contest rules um, in the description below. So I will do that. If you have not subscribed to them, the Doom 143 and Freddy's 562, you have to go and check them out, guys. They do great reviews. They pull out killer books. They are very, very knowledgeable on their comic um comic knowledge um so if you guys are into that you guys definitely need to go and check them out um but without further ado let's just hop right into it so the doom 143 um his thing was you need to show your favorite artist and the five the top five books that uh, you have that the artist has done now before i get into this um i didn't really have a, a big comic collection at all um, Doom 143 and also OMG Old Man Gamers Chris they uh, blessed me with tons of comic books I mean between them two they gave me over like 100 and 100 plus comics um, so it really boosted my uh, the Amazing Spider-Man collection so you know I'm a big fan of Amazing Spider-Man so I'm gonna have to show you those um, and the artist that I actually was turned on to was by Tats Comics he's another um, YouTube uh, video uh, channel that you guys got to go and check out Tats Comics. He's a really awesome artist. He does freehand drawing He just he's really good at uh, what he does. He collects a little bit of pops and he also does awesome reviews on Comics as well. But anyways Tats Comics. He turned me on to an artist named Randy Emberlin and I didn't even know that I even had this artist in my collection um, but uh, Chris OMG he actually blessed me with two signed copies of Randy Emberlin, which I knew um, he sent me signed copies, but I didn't know it was from Randy Emberlin. So anyway, so Tack goes on in one of his videos, he goes on to um, tell on how cool Randy Emberlin, Emberlin is as far as him and his brother go to a lot of Comic Cons. They run into um, this artist a lot, but he was saying that he's really down to earth. He does not charge for his autographs. He, you know, sits there and talks and, and is just really sociable. Um, I know there's people that have went to Comic Cons and they stand hours in line and they finally get to meet this artist that they, you know, want to finally meet, whoever it might be. And either the artist is, you know, not very sociable, not very talkative, doesn't really want to do much, just wants to sign your comics or whatever and get you on your way, which I feel that's not what this community is about. So Randy Emberlin is always, um, from what I hear from what Tats has said, is that he's always willing to talk, sign as many um, copies of whatever you need signed, does not charge for it, is very down to earth. Um, you got to check out Tats Comics as well. Go subscribe to him. The video, um, I'll try to link that as well, but he talks about on how cool Randy Emberlin is and the things that he signed for Tats Comics. Um, just this past weekend, Tat and his brother went to a uh, Comic-Con and ran into Randy again. It was a three-part series, I think, or four-part series. Go and check that out, and you can actually see how cool Randy is and how he's signing tons of stuff for Tat and his son and his brother as well. And um, they're just sitting there chopping it up, having a great conversation. So um, to me, that speaks volumes to me. And being a collector, I'm not getting charged for his autograph, for his signature, I am getting to talk to him, relate to him, get uh, more knowledge, you know, um, and just being social, you know, social about it. And that's what this whole comic community is about. That's what, to me, that's what it's all about right there. And that speaks a lot to me. So um, I didn't really know about much about Randy. I saw him on Tat's um, video review and, you know, I really turned me on to like, man, this guy's a cool, pretty a cool dude. But um, anyways, long, long story, let's get into these comics. And um, the first one that I have by Randy um, is the Amazing Spider-Man 370, and it's uh, Spidey versus Scorpion. He gets scorpionized, scorpionized, and it's the um, Evasion of Spider Slayers Part 3 of 6. So that's a pretty cool Bronze Age um, comic. I'm really liking these. I'm digging these. I'm loving the stories. I'm really liking this basic art. Um, 
and it just for me it does it that's what does it for me um this next one is the amazing spider-man uh 359 cardiac attack and um yeah that's another one done by randy his signature is down right in here this is emberlin uh he actually you know worked on this one as well and um yeah, man, if you haven't if you haven't seen anything on Randy Emberlin, you guys need to go and check it out. I mean, the dude is just really cool. Um, now, this is one of the signed ones that I was telling you about that uh, Chris OMG uh, got me. And there's Randy's signature right there. I don't know if you could see that. And uh, this one is uh, Spidey gets drained of his youth and it goes to the vulture and it's called Life Theft Part 2. And this is 387 and Randy actually signed this one and then also Randy um, signed this one as well down here Randy Amberlin there's his signature and this one is the vulture uh, 386 amazing spider-man um, this is vultures uh, oh and this is actually life theft part one so the other one that I just showed you was part two and this is like vultures revenge um, part one um, his ultimate revenge so that's another Randy Emberlin um, comic so I have two signed by him um, which Chris OMG um, actually gave he gifted to me it was his act of kindness so thanks Chris for that that's awesome and now that I really like this artist that's even holds more weight with me you know I might want to get that slabbed um, but I don't know that's going to be another question as far as Freddy's uh, question we'll get to that one next uh, so this last one this one's this one's cool i like this one so this is issue 350 it's an annual uh giant size or actually it's not an annual it's just a giant size 350 issue the amazing spider-man spider-man versus dr doom and tell me that that cover is just freaking sweet it has dr doom's face in the background just covering up the whole cover and then spider-man just swinging through in the front i mean that to me, that's just awesome. If I can get this one signed by Emberlin and then get this one slabbed, whew, that would do it. That would do it right there for me. That one, this one would be my prized possession. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll see on what you know where he'll be next, and maybe I can run into him. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, that's the last one I wanted to share with you. Um, those are my top five uh, covers that I have of Randy Emberlin and. Um, so that answers uh, Doom 143's uh, question. And then the second question was from Freddy's uh, 562. And his was about um, basically what's been like the hardest book for you to find. Uh, you know, what would be something that, um, that you would want that is um, hard for you to find basically or hard for you to get. And mine would be um, Spider-Man issue 300. Um, and, you know, having a newborn, he's now a little over a month. Uh, that's not going to go down. My wife's not going to approve me getting a $180 plus dollar comic book. Uh, it's just not going to happen. So that one would be my uh, hard to find or basically one that I really want to get slabbed and to be like my, my diamond key issue. Uh, prized possession of my collection that uh, spider the amazing spider-man 300 would be it um, and then also uh, Freddy's also wanted to know basically if um, you know do you slab do you not slab you know what what's what's your take on you know what do you do what what do you prefer or you know is it for you for me I love reading my comics so that one's a hard one for me to kind of answer since I do like going through and reading them, rereading them. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, man. That's that's a tough one. For for me right now, in the stage of the game right now, just price-wise and and um, having a newborn and, and you know, money's kind of tight. You know, slabs right now are, are going to be really hard for me to get at a decent price. But let's just say I get, like, this Dr. Doom, um, the 350 giant size if i get this one signed by randy emberlin this one will get slapped if i got you know like the spider-man issue 300 the amazing spider-man 300 issue you know or if i even had it not slapped then i would get that slapped 
Um, so I think for me, if it's super key issue, I definitely would want to get it slabbed. Um, if it's just something, you know, route, you know, just things that are just part of the collection, I would say no, because I, I like to read them. So I, I, that's basically my stance on the most, um, the ones that are really, really are hard to find and that are, you know, worth a lot. I definitely would want to get that slab. The ones that are just part of the series that I, you know, that you can get anywhere. I definitely want to read those. And I mean, who knows, like even the slab ones, I would want to read it at least once and then get it slammed or I don't know, maybe get, you know, get a, a cheaper, like messed up copy to read and uh, get it, get a really good condition one slammed. So Hopefully that answered your, your question on that. Um, it's kind of hard. I'm kind of in between on the fence. You know, if money was no issue, I would probably slab a lot more. But uh, right now money is an issue. So uh, I'm a big reader and I'm going to read them. If not, I'm going to slab them. The ones that are, uh, you know, a little uh, higher on the price end. Or even the ones that are signed. To me, that's awesome if they're signed and good condition and you can slab them. That's definitely a plus. So um, hopefully, guys, that answers both of your questions. Um, once again, I'm going to link their channels. Please, guys, if you have not subscribed to them, go and subscribe to uh, Freddy's 562 and Doom 143. They have awesome content, awesome channels. Uh, thanks, guys, for putting this contest on. Until next time, guys, uh, stay awesome.